Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equation given that f of x plus 3 equals 10 plus 6x plus x squared. And what is x minus 3? So before I try this, we can drop the answer in the comment box and let's see how we solve this. I will apply two different methods to solve this and we can have another method more than this. So we can just please share it in the comment box. So let's get into it. We have the domain here which is x plus 3 and we are interested to get the opposite of the domain which is x minus 3. So I'm looking at this side, we have a quadratic as we have the power of 2 here as x squared. So here is the coefficient of x and here is the constant term. I mean the sum and the product. Let's try and factorize this. So we have 10 plus 6x plus x squared. Does this factorizable? So looking at this middle term, which is 6, and looking at this constant term, which is 10. So if we have 10 and we can have this as 2 and 5, that is 2 times 5, that is 10. But adding 2 plus 5 together, this gives us 7. Does it equal 6? No. So which means we cannot consider 2 and 5. And there is no other values we can multiply together. Uh, we add together that gives us 7. Even if we use negative side, uh, negative values, it will not give us. The only thing we can do is, we are going to reform this. We transform this into, uh, let's say we have 1 plus 9 plus 6x plus x squared. Yeah, this should work better because when I bracket this and I write this in form of 1 plus 9 is given as 3 squared plus 6x plus x squared. All this in brackets. And then, so a is 3, a is x. If I take only 3 and x with addition, then I take the square of 8. So this is the, the same thing as 3 squared plus 6x plus x squared. By expanding 3 plus x squared, we get the whole of this. So therefore, the remaining whole function becomes f of x plus 3 equals 1 plus open bracket 3 plus x all raised to the power of 2 and the method I'm trying to apply here is called form manipulation so just by changing the whole of x plus 3 here since we have 3 plus x and this is x plus 3 though both of them are commutative but we can just write it as 1 plus open bracket x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 these two are the same then we are going to change x plus 3, which is the domain of this. We change everything here to x. So by changing this one to x, we are going to have f of x equals 1 plus x is to the power of 2. So this is the answer to this f of x only. But what of f of x minus 3? So it's just simple as by changing this x to x minus 3. So then that we have f of x minus 3 equals 1 plus open bracket x minus 3. Then raised to the power of 2. And by expanding this out, we have 1 plus x minus 3 squared. So this gives us x squared minus 6x plus 9. And by adding 1 plus 9 together, we are going to have 10 minus 6x plus x squared. So this is how to solve this for f of x minus 3. How do you solve your own? So let's get into the second approach of solving this same problem. So for the second method, we are going to have to use the direct substitution. Let's say I let t equals x plus 3. Where we can change 
uh, making this x the subject of the formula, we have x equals t minus 3. Then, at the other side, we have 6x. If I multiply this x by 6, we have this as 60 minus 18. And also, by taking the square of this x, we are going to have t minus 3 raised to the power of 2. And from here, t minus 3 raised to the power of 2 is given as t squared minus 60 plus 9. So since we have the addition of 6x plus x squared from the equation, so adding this together, we have 6x plus x squared. So this gives us, what we get for 6x is, uh, we have 60 minus 18. Then plus x squared, it gives us t squared minus 60 plus 9. And this equals, we have plus 60 minus 60 cancelled each other. So here we have t squared, and this gives us minus 18 plus 9. That is minus 9. Again, we have 10 adding to it. So by adding 10 to this, we are going to have 6x plus x squared plus 10 equals t squared minus 9 plus 10. So, and the result of this gives us t squared plus 1. So this will be out for all the right hand side. So therefore, for f of x plus 3 change to f of t equals, and the other side is t squared plus 1. Then let's replace this t with t minus 3. So we have f of t minus 3 equals uh, t minus 3 raised to the power of 2, then plus 1. And again, so by expanding t minus 3 raised to the power 2, so we are going to have it as t squared minus 60 plus 9, then plus 1. So which the result equals t squared minus 60, then plus 10. Then this is for f of t minus 3. As we can just change this t minus 3, uh, t to x. So by changing t to x, so we are going to have f of x minus 3 equals, uh, we have x squared minus 6x plus 10. Or we leave it in the first format as 10 minus 6x plus x squared. So this is all the same all the way around. Thanks for watching and see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.